Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, the Python Gurukul. Today we are talking about PyTest code coverage. If you are any way related to software quality, either you are writing the code or you are testing the code or you are managing the quality team, you would have heard the term test coverage. This question is frequently asked, how much coverage you have? So today we'll learn all about it. So stay tuned for next 10 to 15 minutes and you will get all the question answered. We'll start with very basic definition of code coverage and how we calculate it. Then we'll move on on the installation and setup, which is very easy and quick. Then we'll see some very basic example from writing our own simple test cases and then measuring the coverage on them. We'll see if it is required to move some section of the code. We don't want to calculate the code coverage, how we can do that. We'll see that too. And we'll see different way of running the code coverage. At the end, we will explore on how to read the reports. So lot to cover, so let's keep moving. These are the very common question being asked in an interview. How much code coverage you have? 100% code coverage is good. 0% is bad. So to understand all these, we will talk about all the number, how we calculate them and what it mean by. So let's see some highlights. So in this particular table, we are looking into one of the report. And in this report, we are just talking about the coverage. And this has some number, 100%, 96%, 38%. And overall, this project has coverage of 68%. So this could be common question what it is the meaning what is the meaning of the 68 percent it is good bad what we should be doing so to get answer on all these questions here are some basic definitions so the so line coverage calculates that how many how many lines of the code were called by the test application or by the script and then we try to divide those number by all lines of code and multiply by 100 and then we come up with the line coverage very similarly we can calculate the branch coverage so if we have something like a conditions looping for them if there are any branch which is covered or missed those will be calculated uh, through the branch coverage overall combining line and branch will be called code coverage but one thing we want to highlight by looking at these numbers, cannot tell if the test suite is good. It only tells the test suite is covering or calling or hitting that many lines from the application under test. So now let's see how we can do the installation and setup. If you have been following this so far, you have already installed PyTest. If not, then today is the time to install the PyTest. And then we'll be installing the tool coverage and we'll be installing PyTest coverage. So coverage is the one which does all the things, comparing, running, and calculating the coverage, test coverage. PyTest coverage simplify the way of calling the coverage. It, it may reduce a couple of the lines, so it is handy. So that's where we will install the PyTest coverage plugin as well. So now we know the basic definition. Now we know how to do the installation and setup. Now we are looking into one of the examples. In this upper section, we are defining foo, bar, patch, and main. So this is our code, which we are planning to test. Down here, these are the test cases, which are calling this particular application. But if you notice that foo is being called badge is being called, main is being called, but purposely bar is not called. Means if you look for test coverage, it will be not 100% because we have missed one section. So that's where, that's where uh, we can see that it has 94% coverage and one line was missed. So we can see that we are just measuring the lines and then we are calculating the coverage so now we should have like little bit clarity on how we do that but just think about scenario where we have a complex application in this book application we have these many features as we have these many features we'll be coming up different test modules 
and different test module will have different line of or different test cases so if you want to verify the ad uh, coverage then we'll be going and looking into the ad code and then we'll look into the test code for the same feature and we'll try to match that okay ad book was called okay so that has been covered but this becomes really a tough job we'll be having hundred of hundred of the test cases hundred of the modules and thousands of the lines of the application code then this tool becomes handy and it does all the so even before moving further i want to highlight one more scenario so in our test in our code we want to exclude any of the code from the test coverage measurement then simply we have to add has pragma no cover we say that okay do not count this particular block of the code for test coverage so that way we'll be able to exclude as many line as we want let's move on and see how different way we'll be able to run the code coverage so we are calling pytest and only we need to use the switch or command coverage and then give the name of the directory package or the script file the one we want to measure and then provide the name of the test suite test file or test uh, directory so in this one in this example we are trying to look for the books cover to a chapter 7 test cases there are different way of doing the same thing so in the next line we are showcasing that pi test coverage single file this is one example where we'll be seeing that how we can come how we can measure the code coverage on the single file said pi does simplify the code coverage uh, calling the code coverage if we are not using pytest we can do the same thing but we have to use the two different line we can call the coverage we'll say run and then in the source we'll provide the name of the application name of the package name of the code and then we can use the module pytest and then give the name of the test suite and then at the end we are just generating the report so to simplify this we are using pytest plugin a pytest cob and then by using that it simplify the way of uh, calling these code companies one more thing to take a look let's say if you want to highlight all the missing lines by just saying coverage report include the term missing then it will start showcasing the missing lines in the code that becomes handy to see that which all lines have been missed so now let's take a look at one of the test report this books is the package the one we are working on testing and that have been tested it has four different uh, module init module api cli and db and these all have been measured init was called 100 percent api was 96 percent so we are all saying that our test application was able to call 96 percent of the line from this api but 38 from 38 38 percent from the cli so this one looks something is it good it is enough what we should be doing so we need to find out which all line we have missed and what it means so to further uh, we can explore the report and then we can come up the conclusion that what we should be doing next now we are looking into the report and to re to generate the report we only say that pytest coverage and then the type of the report so we are saying that generate the report and type html once we do that uh, in the same directory wherever we are running these commands html coverage directory will be created and inside that index.html file will be created and that file will have all the data what we saw but this is interactive we can click on the any of the result and explore them in further so now it's time to take a look at the live code so already i have installed all the tools but we'll just see uh, pip install 
pie test it's already there it will say yes it is already there and it looks good the another another one was pip install coverage and the last one was the plugin we talked about so pip install pi test cover. so it concludes that uh, our environment is good all the tools are installed so now we will take a look at that single file the one we saw in our slide this is our application and this section is the testing script the code which is being used to test so we'll go to the command line and we will say uh, pi test we will say coverage and we want to measure the coverage of our code and the test code are in the same file it will be really interesting to see how it looks so let's see we have 100 percent code coverage. let's go ahead and we saw that we saw that we had foo bar badge and main and foo was called bar was called badge was called main was called so 100 percent is covered what we'll do we'll just go ahead and we'll take out this particular section of the code we'll save the file and we'll go to the command line once again and here we'll run the command once again this time it should not be showing 100%. So now we can see that as we have taken out one test code and the percentage reduced from 100 to 94. So we can see that if, if we are not covering all the lines from the application while writing our test cases, then we are missing some coverage. And in this case, we, were, we are not calling this bar and that's where our coverage reduced to 94%. Now we will try to see the very close to real life example. So we have already have the books package installed on the system. And now I am bringing the books application. It brings some data. Now I'll say books help. And then we can see that what all the feature it has. So it has add, config, count. These are the features we have. So we, we are just, so now we can see that to test these features, we have written this all test module have lots of test cases in it. So we need to find out, okay, add book was call, count was call. So how many lines we have called from our application? So it looks really tricky. So what we'll do, generating the test coverage for the our books package so let's say we'll say pi test we'll say coverage and we want to measure the coverage of the books package it could be package name it could be uh, code directory it could be single file as well the way we saw before and then i'm saying compare with the chapter 7 chapter 7 is the module which is having all the test cases for this books package so uh, a lot is going while running the test cases. It is mentioning the code. And now we see that these all test module were run against this particular package. And then we have this, we have this number of coverage. So that's really neat and clean. The next, we want to do the report. Uh, we want to generate the report. And the report type is HTML. And that is against the chapter seven. So this time it is going to run, it is going to measure, but with all these, it is going to create one report HTML directory. So now we see that it has measured, it has created the report, and it is saying that coverage HTML retained to the directory HTML coverage. So let's go to the directory. And in this directory, uh, we will be circling back to the books library and we look for HTML coverage. This HTML coverage is the one was just generated. And from here, the one we want to take a look at is index.html. Let me bring this one here. 
So now we are looking into the report, and this report is kind of same thing we saw in the command line or in the command prompt, but this is more interactive. It is saying all number is 68% coverage, and these are the lines statement these files were having, these are the missing, these were excluded, and these are the coverage percentage. So let's take a look at the one is only 38% covered. So let's go to the CLI Pi. We are looking into the code. And in this code, we can see that 93 statements were there, 35 were not run, 58 were missing on the missing line. And then it will highlight all the missing lines. By looking into these lines, we can see that do we need to include the code coverage for this, or this is something we can ignore. So that's become really handy and uh, really interactive to find out what's going on with our code. And even without having good understanding of the code or test uh, script, we'll be able to drive down and take a look at the number. So that's all I had to share with you. If you like my video, please share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.